Hello wonderful people watching this video. Now in this video I'm going to demonstrate how you can password protect directories using HT access. So I'll get started right away. First things first you're going to want to open your .ht access file that is in your root, the root of your project. If you don't have an HT access file then just create one and you're going to want to add the following four lines. The first one is auth type and that has a value of basic. The second is auth name and you can name this whatever you want. I'm going to name it restricted area. This will be displayed in the pop-up box that appears and asks for your credentials which you'll see shortly. Next is auth user file and you want to give it the path to your .ht password file which I'm going to create shortly and for me that will be in Apache auth then .ht password and the last line is require valid user because that's what we require so <clears throat> I'll just show you at this stage it's going to ask for credentials but we don't have any to give it yet so that is where this HD password file comes in and you can see it is in Apache auth .hd password what I specified earlier and there's this handy tool it's on the um, htaccesstools.com website. You can just do a Google search for HD password generator and it should come up. And you want to type in your username that you want to use and the password and it will encrypt the password for you. And you just wanna copy that. and paste it into your .ht password file save that now type in admin. this should give me access now and yeah you might be confused that you can see the page in the background but the reason for that is because I already had the page open so let me just close the browser reopen it so I can show you how it would work if the page isn't open already so now I see it asks for the password before displaying the page the only reason the page was visible before was because I already had it open prior to adding the password the .ht access password file and the information in the .ht access file. So again, this should give me access. Yep, that's worked successfully. One more thing I'll mention is this .ht password file can be named anything, but it's a bit, it's a convention and a best practice to name it .ht passwd. And yep, yeah, I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, I'll be appreciative if you could like the video and it'll be good if you could subscribe to my channel to get more helpful videos like this. Until next time, thank you, goodbye.